Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and we are discussing about interview question answers and we have already discussed about these things and already discussed about 12 questions and you can get all the question answers discussion in my YouTube playlist. So today we are going to discuss about the most asking question for interview that is the implode and explode. Okay, so right here, what is implode and explode okay so basically this is the two function for you can say string function or array function okay so basically these functions are used to convert string to array and array to string okay so this is the function implode function so basically this is used to convert a array to string and another function that is explode explode function is used to convert string to array okay so when we write our code or we are building our own logic sometimes we need to convert a string variable to array variable or if you want to reverse these things you can use this okay so basically implode and explode the two function and to convert array to string and string to array implode works to convert array to string and explode string to array and both functions have two parameter one for separator and one for the variable that is it may be array variable or it may be string variable okay so let's take an example so with the example we can understand these things more better okay so first suppose i am creating a string suppose the string is str string and here i am writing i love php okay so this is the string variable so if we want to convert these things into array how we can convert this okay so to convert we need to use the explode because this is a string type variable and i want to convert this string time variable into the array so write the explode and here we are going to make array when we will get the space so for array zero position i want i for array one position we need love and for array two position we need php so we will create array with the string so first thing is the separator so using this separator we can understand by which i want to split or join okay so here the separator is space so whenever we will get any space we will make array into the new key okay so write here the space and provide the string so that is the variable name okay and store these things into array so write here array so so in the array variable we'll get the array okay so just echo beer okay so we need to use the printer to print any array variable okay so provide the name of the array that is array so we can see there is a string i love php and i want to make that array so just go to the browser and can see what happened okay so you can see the array 0 i array of 1 it is love and array 2 is php so it is basically converted into index array so now suppose i have this kind of value okay so i have this array and i want to make this as a string so how we can create this so i want to create a variable that is new string okay so first one is dollar str and here the new str okay and i want to make a string from the array so use implode okay and use any separator suppose i want to separate the value into comma okay so you can use your own separator i will let you discuss on these things okay and write here array and just print this array so here write echo new str okay 
so now if you go to the browser and press this we can see i love php so we just add here a simple beer to get the new line okay so i love php so i am using the separator as a comma that's the reason this array is converted and join with the comma so if we just write here any pipe we can see the output the i pipe love pipe php so here i just write here one space so that we can see the proper output that is i love php okay so this way we can convert a string into array and array into string so this is so very important questions for any interview and don't be confused with implode and explode implode is used to convert a array to string and explode is used to convert a string into array so this is all about implode and explode functions so in this way there are lots of methods for a string or for array you can check in your in your reference sites or i will discuss on that things so hope you like this video and please like and subscribe this channel for more video like this you can ask your own question in the below comment section also you can put your opinion and please don't forget to share this with friends so thanks for watching this video have a good day